Hello everyone, this is the video tutorial of Xexpress Photography Theme and in this video I'll show you how you can configure some of the sections as in the home page of this theme. Well, this is the demo site of our photography theme and in this particular video I'll show you how you can configure this and this uh, contact section, this call to action section and this is the contact info section. So let's start by configuring this contact section, sorry, this call to action section. So to do this, log into your WordPress account, then go to Appearance and click on Customize. Here in Customize, you will find Home Page Setting. Then here is the section Call to Action. You need to enable this section first. Then you need to select an image for that. <coughs> Then let us select an image. Well, let me select the image that we have used in our demo site. Well, I don't think I have it here, so I'm going to select just anonymous image here now. And then click on choose. Now put the call to action title such as then you can put a subtext well let me just copy from my demo site then you can put a call to action button link of any address then you can put a call to action button name after these uh, settings and configurations click on save and publish now that it's save and publish your this section will appear as such it's pretty good and as in our demo site well, for the next section that is contact info, let's go back and here you'll find quick contact info. Click on it. You need to enable this section. Then you need to put an email address. You can also get the preview here. You can put your uh, Twitter account. account name, username, then uh, you can put your phone number then click on save and publish now let's go to our front end also and see how will that appear So this is the front end of our site and you'll find this call to action and this contact info. Well, I don't think it has font awesome icon because we haven't put it. Let, let us check. Well, I have it here. So let's just delete it and paste it once again. and publish this thing let us refresh it again as you can see we have our fun awesome icon with the relevant contact info etc so this is how you have to configure this uh, two sections and you can also refer to our online documentation any anytime you feel any confusion or such so I hope this video is helpful to you thank you very much